name is Arlene, and I'm going to be talking about my son, Justin, who is going to be 17 on Friday. Um, he is currently an 11th grader at, uh, in high school. He's an inclusion child. He gets inclusion services. Um, he's an outgoing, yeah, no, he's not an outgoing kid, I should say, but he does participate in scouts and clubs. He's in history club. He does do extra quick activities. Um, his biggest issue, though, is engaging one-on-one -on -one with other children. Um, while at these group activities, he tends to sit by himself. He's a loner, and uh, he prefers to be that way. Justin has a lot of social issues where he tends to dominate the conversation, and he wants to be... He's the talker. He's never the listener. He never... Um, he doesn't have those social cues. He doesn't understand body awareness. He doesn't understand pauses in conversation. So we... You know, as a teacher and as a parent and as and someone who has done some research and as just observing him, I know that it's very hard for him to get out of the house. It's very hard for him to start that interaction, to make that phone call, to get involved in, I don't want to call them playing groups anymore because he's older, but just to hang out with the other kids down at 7-Eleven or go grab an ice cream. But the reason I sent him to a summer program or the reason we started looking for a summer program is... Um, luckily for me, Justin's a 10 month, um, year IEP child, but doesn't receive summer services. So it was either the choice to sit and play video games and to be isolated or go to a camp that will be able to help him and keep him in a direction where, and maybe teach him some things along the way with kids kind of similar to him and that he would get to experience life. He would get to go to the movies with other kids. He would get to go rock climbing and play people or, or just do things that teenage boys at 16, 17 years of age do. So being an educator, I knew that how important it is for um, experience, how life experience is definitely very crucial for learning and gaining new skills and even generalizing the skills that learn. When I saw this program pop up, I was like, two weeks? Two weeks of summer? Two weeks engaged? Two weeks with structured activities? Two weeks of fun activities, things that he doesn't normally do on a daily basis, um, I had to get him enrolled. And, you know, we went through the process really quickly. And um, I definitely think that I chose CIP, A, for the social piece, B, for the structure and the schedule that um, was presented to me. Um, I like the fact that he was away from home. I like the fact that he had only been one week of clothes because then he had to do laundry. Um, I really like the fact that they were going to go out to eat. Like, these are all things that, yeah, he does with me, and he's great with me. But when he does it with his friend Jay, it's all him doing it. It's never reciprocated. Jay never gives back. They've tried going to the movies. It just doesn't work out. So CIP to me was more of let's expose him to a two-week program of consistency, schedule, um, kids just like him structure and just living on his own can he do it I mean he's 17 he, I think he can go away to college this was a good experience for me yes it was you know not true it was a test but I mean I'm sending him back this year to give him more experience because he came home talking about CIP for days he would tap people on the shoulder he would go find them run around try, let me tell you more let me tell you more with that schedule that 7 30 in the morning wake up to that 11 o'clock at night going to bed he would tell everybody about his day using that schedule. I, I'd had it be at least two weeks after. Um, so to me, that meant that he had a good time. And uh, so when it came back up again, we were a little hesitant to send him again because, you know, it's pricey. But the way he talks about it, it's not, it's not even about the money anymore. It's about the experience and having, letting him have that experience again. Um I think it's priceless. You can't even put a price tag on it. You find the way, you find the money, and you just you just make it happen. Because if he is truly going to go away to college, even if he gets his own apartment, he's got to learn to do his own laundry, make his own bed, and not have mom and dad nag him all the time and tell him what to do and, and you know, make some friends from it. So people commented to me after that summer how much social he was, how much more social he was. Um, he was doing things, dare, like more daredevil things. He was more engaged. He was initiating conversation with peers. Um, so hopefully my goal for him this year is to gain some phone numbers, um, to gain some relationship 
and more of those social cueing things, you know, learn more that to put other people's perspective. Um, so I'm hoping this year those goals will be um, achieved and he will be ready to go to, to senior year and then hopefully to some kind of college program in the fall of 2018. Mm-hmm.